Hello YouTube, thought we'd do a quick video on ground plane rods. Now, what I'm talking about on some base antennas, they have these what they call ground plane rods. And I'm going to show you here on this example of an antenna, they're right here. That's what we're talking about. Now, I've been reading ab about that, and it seems that technically and theoretically, using rods, whether it's three rods or four rods, is not really technically enough, which I find quite interesting. Yes, it does work, and obviously a lot of antennas use them, um, but in sense of the uh, calculations and, and uh, on the info, and I'll post some links down below too, so you know that um, I can show you some websites that talk about this. But technically, if you have, and just kind of give you a summary, and you can read more about it on the on the websites, the links that I post. If your antenna is four inches tall, your ground plane is supposed to be from the center of the antenna four inches out around the antenna. So, yes, I know if, you know, uh, if some, you know, depending on what frequency you're talking about, that can be a pretty big circle. Uh, so it's probably not, you know, obviously not feasible to be lugging that up onto a roof or a tower, you know, obviously, if it's a pretty good size. Now, like I said, uh, the grounding rods that they use nowadays obviously do work, but I think it would be better, from what I read, if you use an actual ground plane um, itself, meaning if, if it requires six inches of diameter, then it should be six inches of diameter. Now, I do know when I've been playing with my homemade antenna, which I'll do a video on here shortly, I use ground rods too, and I just bending them can change the SWR. With, and I use my analyzer to, to check it. And I'll show you all this. So I'm thinking about modifying my antenna um, and just kind of playing with different different ground planes and see what, what happens. Maybe perhaps it makes it work better. Maybe it helps with the gain. I, I haven't dug that deep yet to, to really check. Um, but nevertheless, I want to bring this to your attention that you might you know kind of con kind of consider this as you build your antenna. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple pictures here. Uh, this one right here has got the three plane. Now, this particular gentleman, obviously, it's a, it's, this is a RV or a camper, and it's fiberglass. So he put a piece of metal on her so he could stick his antenna on. But that, even that big a piece of metal is really going to help compared to having ground and rods. Now, I find this interesting. Some antennas do have a lot of them. Look at this antenna. This has a lot of ground rods. So that, that you know, makes me kind of wonder. Perhaps, maybe, you know, guys should really kind of think about that. Um, I'm going to show you a web. Uh, there's a couple websites I want to show you that talk about this. This website really explains what I just told you about here. Um, it tells you the the length the length in inches. It, it talks all about. It. I'm not going to you know you can read it yourself. Um, but th here's one website. I'll post this link, like I say, down below. I will also post. There's also a they have a calculator on here that you can you can uh, hit a web link you can click on. And this particular, there's the calculator that I was kind of playing with, and I entered in this frequency, and it tells you you can you can pick which one you want, whether it's meters or feet. It should be about six inches from the center of the antenna around. Um, that's what this this calculator is kind of telling you. It it calculates the actual length of the antenna itself, and then that's how it gets its. And as you can see here, the vertical length is the same as the uh, length of the ground rods what they should be so i thought that was kind of kind of interesting um this particular uh site also talks about you know a guy kind of playing around with different uh grounding rods um and he does you know gmrs well, i'll post that link too down below if you want to uh you know read more about this but i'm kind of thinking you know that might be something a guy should also kind of check into just besides the antenna itself um, what I find quite amazing is when you get these commercial antennas, the ones that, you know, you, you buy, obviously, what I mean by commercial, um, and the price that, you know, some of these antennas sell for, 
and some of them don't have a lot of ground rods, but they claim a DB gain of 11, and they're 16 feet tall, and and it's and you know so it's kind of interesting to uh, you know see and look at those antennas to see how they're kind of designed to kind of figure out well hey maybe that's why they did this or that's why they did that. So um, like I said, I'll be playing with some antennas. I, I got one I made. Um, that's I'll do a video on that. Um, so that's going to be coming up here shortly. Uh, but I just want to bring this out to your attention that maybe the ground plane rods are, are more important, you know, uh, to help with our, with the gain. You know, like I said, I haven't read a, a lot of info on that part yet. I'm still kind of doing some digging, but definitely there's, it, it kind of makes sense. So at any rate, I just thought I'd point this out to you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post down below. Thank you, and please subscribe.